Um, all right. Titanic theory. All right. Hey, Bill. Hey there, Billy. False flag. Uh, do you know the theory behind the Titanic sinking? Uh, in short, J.P. Morgan owned the Titanic and the Olympic. Completely identical ships. The Olympic was damaged in port before it could be insured. According to a shipyard captain at the time, Morgan had all the identification changed, so it said Titanic on the now weakened Olympic. Get the fuck out of here. Morgan was supposed to be on the ship, but fell ill at the last minute. Important side note. This was all while Morgan was fighting for a central banking system so he could manipulate U.S. markets even more. Also, the voyage on the voyage were two billionaires who opposed the federal system and stood in Morgan's way. There's a lot of good info on this one, Billy. Would love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to read about it. What you're basically doing here is you're presenting motive. All right, where he would definitely have a motive if all of that is true. But how do you prove the old switcheroo? Which is what a lot of um, conspiracy theory starts off with. And it reminds me of this great Robert Klein joke when he was making fun of those people at late night that would tell you uh, how to get rich. And he would start it off. He goes, okay. You have no money, so you buy a house. And then you take the equity in the house you don't own, and like it all starts off with this giant leap of bullshit. Like, wait a minute, I don't have uh, any money. How do I buy a house? Um, how, do you pr- how do you prove to me well, the Olympic was damaged in port before it could be insured? I mean, how bad was it damaged? No, I, I, I don't believe this. I don't believe it. I, yeah, I, I simply don't believe that. So what, it already had holes in it and then they just sent it out? I, no, I don't believe that. Um, And also, I think the people, the way they examined the boat when they found it, didn't everything kind of fall in place? I, yeah, I, I don't believe that. The old me would have believed it. Yeah, uh, the me from 10 years ago would have believed it. Um, I, but I'll, I'll look it up. That's, that's fascinating shit. That makes for a great, I'll tell you, it makes for a great fucking movie. All right, high school sweetie reached out to me. Oh. 